Hi everyone. Hi guys. Lovely to see you again. Today is the first day of the Art, Art and Olfaction Award traversal. Yeah. That we're going to have. We're going to have a little journey, exploration Olfaction journey. journey. Um, it's like Lord of the Rings, isn't it? But without the rings. Yeah. And um, and Sir Ian McKellen isn't yeah. in it. Yeah. Apart from that, it's pretty much the same. So what have we got today? This this, so this is something is, you have smelt already, isn't I, it? So I, I have I'm excited. A smelt. So um, we are exploring this range, and uh, I suppose what's handy, I, I should just be upfront that we wanted to explore this range. It's now quite difficult because a lot of the um, houses, a lot of the perfumes which have been nominated as finalists for the Art and Fashion Awards 2023 are either based, um, a lot of them are based in the US, um, and some of them are based away. in Europe, but the UK having extricated itself from the rest of the world to implode in a right-wing mess. But also, like I was looking the other day at one of those little Royal Mail vans, and I can't imagine that being able to go across the Yeah, we could get, I think it would go, just go yeah. down. Anyway, so, so it, it's it, hard. It, it, it basically, it's become hard and expensive and difficult for us for, to sample all of these fragrances, but um, fortunately, this is one um, which we already had to start with. So uh, James Nguyen or uh, uh, Miu, um, seemed to have an alter ego, contacted us um, uh, around about Christmas because he was uh, launching um, his own kind of fragrance mm. line and he um, offered to send us the, 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 frag the fragrance, uh, his fragrances, his first kind of line of fragrances. And um, so we've, we've had them for a little while before he was announced as a, uh, uh, a finalist for the Art and Faction Awards. Also, I mean, I just just in terms of the time scale, how fucking cool is that? that he, he's sort of launching your first fragrances around Christmas time, and you're yeah. in the finals of the Art and Faction Awards <laughs> within a few months. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so, so I, already, I think that's incredible. I think it's very, win. it's very impressive, and um, obviously, or maybe not obviously. So it, it's it's Fair the play. artisan category. So I, I don't really quite know how you pronounce the name. The brand D Grey. I think it's a silent D and a silent G, so I think it's just Grey. Yeah. No, anyway, um, so he he sent us um, a, 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 a few of his fragrances. So the the, the fragrance which is nominated um, um, as a finalist is uh, Alter Oud, spelled A L T E R, but we'll talk about that name in a minute. It's 125 US dollars for 30 mil X-ray. So for a 30 mil X-ray, that's Pretty Decent? decently yeah, um, yeah. Uh, priced. So the name Alter is a slight play between um, Alter Ego and A L T A R Alter. Which so we have just. We do actually have an Alter just over there. Um, so it's um, inspired by his. Uh, he had a. Uh, in his family home, he had an altar um, into which he would place incense sticks in, in, in jasmine rice. Um, wow. And so this. Alter Oud, as the name suggests, is an Oud fragrance. So the starting point um, was a Vietnamese um, Oud oil. Um, so I have, as it will be the most the case for most of these fragrances, I have worn and tested this on skin a few times. So I've lived with it, um, and I've got some uh, some pages of notes here. Joe has not tried it Look at that. so you're gonna get his first impressions i love this, this is my favorite part actually um joe doesn't know the, the, the notes list or anything so you're just i have no idea what's here apart from the fact that it's oud of some description yeah um, so i'm excited i i did i mentioned this to joe just a moment ago but i i think i think you would benefit from this one would oh uh, yeah go, i should go, put this go, on skin go yeah. on skin so well let's get let's show hit me, me up show with me a bit of that there we go. Show me the money. As, I mean, um, the, the colour your hand is now might give you a clue to one of the ingredients. I don't know. Um, Very yellow. <laughs> yeah. Right. So give I, me so some. Oh, okay. I've got that straight away. So let, let me let yeah. me just mention something. so a little bit about um, James the perfumer. Before oh. making perfume making, he worked as a hair colourist for fifteen years. Grew some um, allergies to chemicals and wanted to avoid them in his skincare. So he's very attracted to, to natural products um, and started to e explore natural products. This is not an all natural perfume, but there, there, there is a, a big emphasis on the natural um, ingredients. And I think that's quite evident. Yeah. Um, that's one of those perfumes that's made me kind of sigh and go, oh, with, I don't know what that reaction is of mine, but I love that. So I will say, so one, one of my, 
I, I've made notes of this, and one of, one of the, the things connected to that I had, I felt when I was wearing this, and it's actually a little bit later on, I almost wanted to actually inhale it. You know, as you would a cigarette of like, yeah. breathe it in and take it into your lungs. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It, it's very, very deep. And it, it makes me, if there was a kind of, uh, you know, those things that you punch at the fairground and the thing goes up yeah. to the top. Yeah. If there was one of those for the, how much you've inhaled, yeah. I would be at the top. I would, I inhaled this very deeply. So you definitely get this. You have to work hard for it. You have, yes. to, you have to make some effort to decipher what's going on. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's definitely beautiful. I mean, I definitely get the, like, the presence of oud straight away, but, it, but it's yeah. not, you know, it's not your, your um, big brash synthetic in your face oud. There's a thickness. There's a bit of a, a little bit of medicinalness. There's but a little like, medicinalness. There's a, there's a, I get like a little, I get like a buttery, I get like a sort of, like a buttery, Rice with a little bit of spice. Yeah, I would. I would agree with rice. Like a little buttery saffron rice or something. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, 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 and saffron is quite big as well. Yeah, but, but buttery. Uh, I, get, I find this really. I buttery. get this kind of like buttery rice, earthy. Um, <sighs> not not quite orisy, but there's something like this kind of like this. There is a li it's got almost the texture a slight, of orris. Yeah, it doesn't smell orisy, but it has the texture of kind of orris buttery. I've written, yeah, look, almost Oris, smooth, leathery, but not uh, suede. Not Orisy, just the feel of Oris. Yeah. The creaminess and the, the creaminess, yeah. buttery, suede, not quite like a harsh worn leather, more of a Do you know it's very it's very, very elegant. It's very like it's very yeah. sort of French classical, beautifully when you, rounded. Yeah, if, if 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 you were to see you know, artisan, oh. first perfumer, oud, saffron, you'd take big brash, big bomb thing. slightly like all over the place. But there, there is this um, real elegance, smoothness. So uh, my mention to the colour, I don't know if you can see the colour. That's very, very, very yellow. Stained with turmeric. And turmeric, ah. so turmeric gives yeah. you that, that kind of chalky... That's not my liver. Orisy you know, almost, not quite leathery, but like that creamy without, but not sweet at all. Yeah. I see, I don't know, I don't really know the flavour of turmeric. Of turmeric. I've, yeah. I've eaten it loads, but the yeah. only association I ever have is if I have, you know, if I have lamb chops or something from my mm. Indian, or I get the or yellow, yeah. I get the yellow hands mm. and there's and a sort of staining. But it, but it has this kind of like chalky dry, so I think that's definitely there. Um, it's a, like a little tiny bit of like, manuka honey or something. But there, well, there's definitely the sweetness. I'm like, not I sure. Sweetness of some sort. Though. Exactly what. Very the mild sweetness. It's not. It's not. Like it's not sweet. sticky sweet, and it's and it it, it definitely avoids. It's not like the it, rice we try. You know that oolong tea rice, no, which no, is no, that no, beautiful no, sweet no. sticky. It's not that, rice. and it definitely avoids. You know, there are some fragrances which go into mm. that oud saffron sweet sticky. Yeah. Overdone stuff. It's not that. I mean, my overall feel, especially wearing it on skin, was that it. It did feel quite meditative. Yeah. It, I just wanted to sit there and, and inhale, and it felt, as you said a moment ago, it felt like it was drawing me in as opposed to totally. shouting yeah. out. Um, the, I mean, this is, this is actually reminiscent to me of, you know, if Guerlain was still making their mm. classics. This is the kind of thing I could imagine them making if they ventured into the oud. Side yeah. of things are very, very round, elegant, very softly spoken. There really are no rough thing. edges, are there? No, it's. Oh, I love it. I think in it's really way, beautiful. It, it, in it the best possible way, up. it doesn't smell artisanal. No, no. Except for the fact that the, the it smells like a natural oud fragrance. We're going to smell. Oh, you know, in our journey, we're going to smell some synthetic really goods, and this is that's really good. I said understated elegance, deftness of touch, finesse, oud yeah. saffron, etc. But very elegant. God. But I also said both spiritual and sexy. Yes, yes. It is very sexy and very spiritual. So, and then um, a little bit, a little bit later. I mean, maybe about now. There's a slight fruitiness, which starts to come out. Maybe a little bit like, and so, and I, I thought it was kind of lychee. He lists. Oh yeah. Uh, I like mangosteen, 
which, which, I, which I've, I've, ne I've never heard of that. Mangosteen. And, yeah, I've, I've not heard of that fruit, but he said in, in his description as part of the offering, they would pay kind of fruit. Um, but I kind of got like a lychee, or, or like almost, almost like a rice wine quality. I can see what you mean, Plum for sure. Wine. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm, something else is coming up for me at this moment in time. I, I'm starting to get fruitiness here. I don't know if it's different on card, but I'm starting to get that fruitiness. It's actually different on card, yeah. God, do you know that's actually, a, that's a real model because I smell almost everything on card these days and, and it's it different. really is different I, I skin. did say this yeah. is one for, for skin. Yeah, the fruitiness I'm getting on there, on my skin, I'm yeah. getting, I'm getting like a really beautiful shoe polish thing. Yeah. Well, it's so interesting. I, I got, for me, the, the polished wood, I thought came in a bit later, and I almost—I oh. was almost reminded of. It doesn't smell like coromandel, but the feel of that lacquered wood. Yeah, I can, see, I can see it coming. I mean, or, I mean, on there, I'm getting—I'm getting little hints of like a, mm. like a little. It's, it's more—it's more oody it's more than it is on here, isn't it? I think. But it's still so delicate. It's yeah. so—it's such a, a round. I do, do you get a hint of, thing. And, and I got a little bit of cherry, almost. Um, you know, Maybe a little bit. Yeah. A little hint of, kind of, a little hint of cherry cola. Lack like, of you know, I've been drinking cherry cola since I was about five or six. And I remember <laughs> it in those cans, the white cans. It's not appropriate to the video, but if you can find a picture of those 80s cherry coke cans, they're very cool. And I've had it ever since, and I love the smell. And now that you've said it, I'm going to just go over here <laughs> and cry. Anyway, it doesn't smell like that. But I, I do get this. So, so we kind of start with this kind of incense, lacquered wood, oodiness yeah. um, and then I, I did start to get a little bit of fruit and obviously saffron but it's amazing we got you know and now a, a fruity saffron oud the oud thing is where I struggle because even though we, we've smelt lots of ouds I still really struggle to pinpoint an oud because there are different varieties I, I, I if, if you had never mentioned the name oud to me I wouldn't smell this and think well it's not oud apart from an accord of something well uh, it reminds beautiful. me of some of the the um Vietnamese oud that um, Chen Raitong uses. That, that's oh, what yeah. I was most reminded Maybe. of. Yeah, yeah. And as I think the, the thing with oud, we often think of, um, you know, those big, bold, like Montserrat, all of those, you know, big, brash oud for greatness, all, all of those big, brash, which, which is not really anything like this slightly medicinal, more twangy, incense-y um, oud here. I got... It's really beautiful. Zen isn't it? Buddhist incense and plum wine. Nice. Yeah, I can see that. It is just, it's a very quiet fragrance. It's, it's a very it's, sort of meditative. Yeah, it's meditative. Um, it's not big, cuddly, I've written. This is, I mean, this is a fragrance to wear when someone is getting up close and personal, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is and this is, it's like yeah. the smell of you from within. It's mm -hmm. not something, it's not something you want to go and have a big six foot projection. Mm. Of. I don't think it's that kind of perfume. It's, no. it's personal in the sense of all those greats that we've smelled over the years that make you want to sit in a corner. I also said about, from about own. the one hour point, I felt it, it didn't develop hugely. It's not an enormously complex um, fragrance, I don't think. It's just, it, it's just beautiful and, and, and um, sexy yet meditative. Also, it, it, it's it, really it sits quite close. It, it doesn't last a huge amount of time, but it's just not, you know, That's if you, not what if, if for, you want a big it? rash ooze, you, you, will, you will be disappointed. It's, it's not yeah. that. Understated elegance, lovely. I'm, I, it really I, actually work. I have, to, I have to give that a few more wearings and just do a day with it, because I'd love to see what that does over it's, the course yeah. of a, a few hours. I mean, but I will today. Really, it's really there. addictive on skin. It's a real evening mm. fragrance, I would say. Really, beautiful. you know, we talk about those ones. You I'm just so impressed. Sit in and spray, and just have with a glass of wine. Yeah, absolutely. Or a bottle of wine. A bottle. Yeah. It's, and it's just, <laughs> it's quite, it's so round, it's elegant. And I have to say, for someone that's just released their first line of fragrances in around Christmas, or I don't know if it was around then or before, yeah. but I think that's incredible. Yeah, so I think problem. that's really accomplished. We should, I mean, he, so we also the I'd other one. I'd be so honoured to have we, made something. He like sent that. us a few samples, and one of the ones we both tried mm. is this coffee cat which has catnip in it as well um yes and you've worn this a bit haven't you i have well, i need that, to wear it again uh, it's, it's it again. a bit of the same feel i just didn't feel it, it didn't feel as well put together as alter 
who'd no this is a different this is something different and i i can i can totally appreciate what it what it is doing but for me see this, this, this feels I felt coffee cat felt a bit it shouts a little bit, a little bit and, it, and it felt a little bit like you know a natural perfume yeah in, in the way that there were maybe a few um not quite competing ingredients but it, it didn't quite have the elegance of auto there's also there's another one um i'm getting the fruitiness now there's there's definitely fruitiness there, there's another one i'm, I'm so impressed trying with to think that. what it's called when he uses a, a, a rabbit fur tincture something flop um Ear, ear flop. Yeah, uh, That's what rabbits do. Lazy flop. Lazy flop. No, lazy lop. Lazy lop. It's, it's lop-eared rabbit. Yeah. Um, which incorporates, uh, you know, a um, rabbit fur tincture. And so I kind of, as I said to you, I quite, I just quite happy That's that quite that someone's it? doing this. Yeah. <laughs> as well. It's um, bold, isn't it? You know, to to come out and do a really elegant sort of almost turn of twentieth century version of a of a beautiful saffron hue. Yeah. And then to be doing stuff like that, this is someone with a vision and a yeah. personality. And this is great that it's happening. I love that. I yeah. mean, if, you, if, you're, if you're somebody who's that interested really in exploring interesting smells, you know, to take you beyond the, the, the box standard. Check him out, yeah. Check, check him out. Um, yeah. See, even that, I mean, the quality of that is really good. Yeah. I, I do like mm. that. Yeah, it is good, yeah. It's, it's, it's just so, it's so innovative. It's, it's just not, it's not what you're getting on a, your box standard perfume travels so i'm pleased yeah good it's, i have it's, to say i'm gonna i'm gonna wish this guy all the luck yeah. in the world for this thank you james for sending us so um, for sending us um the, the, the samples and giving us the chance yeah. to try it and and well done keep doing it fingers crossed that you have congratulations success so until next time bye happy sniffing <laughs>